What's going on guys? So I am at the 2024 Houston RV show and we are at the Terry Vaughn area of the show and we're going to show you an absolutely incredible travel trailer. Now it's incredible because they're doing a lot of things right and a lot of things that I recommend other manufacturers do. So we're going to take a closer look at this KZ Connect and show you what it's all about. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we go any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit because they put this nifty card that has the numbers on the unit. Okay, so this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,560 pounds. It has a cargo carrying capacity of 2,050 pounds and a unloaded weight of 7,510 pounds. This is a really, really cool trailer and they've done some things that I really like about it. So first of all, MSRP on this unit, $70,144. Guarantee you the show price is significantly less or if you call them, it's gonna be a lot less. So check them out, Terry Vaughn RV. This specific unit is the C312RE. Now this has a lot of really cool things going for it. First of all, it has electric stabilization and leveling, which is really nice. It has a great system for that. But as I go back, one thing that I really like is the fact that for a travel trailer, they put the Equiflex suspension system on. I love the fact that they put an upgraded suspension system on this RV. Now, I don't think they put greasable wet bolts or heavy duty shackle straps, and I think that is something they should definitely put on as well. If you're gonna go with an upgraded suspension equalizer, to me, it just makes sense to go ahead and get the whole kit, go heavy duty on everything, and put greasable Zerks on it so you don't have to worry about how hard it would be to maintain. But I love the fact that they have this here in the first place. That in itself is going to mitigate a lot of the road shock from making its way into the chassis. I love the Goodyear Endurance tires as well. You've done a great job. This sits on a BAL frame, which is a good frame. I think the whole thing's huck bolted together as opposed to welded. I've heard a lot of really good things about BAL frames. If you have a BAL frame on your RV, leave a comment below. I'd love to know the pros and cons and your experiences with them. Rack and pinion slide outs. Let's take a look inside of this. So this is gonna be the Connect C312RE. I don't see an Asdell sticker, but you know, in 2024, it doesn't mean that there's not Asdell. I just don't know if this unit has Asdell or not. Two year warranty on it, hitched to bumper. That's really nice. Okay, so check this out. So I've seen similar floor plans to this in compact fifth wheels, but I don't think I've seen this exact floor plan in a travel trailer yet. And this is really nice that they've executed well on it. Over here, it's thermofoil, so you can see that there's some areas that are a little less expensive, but the fact that they're putting upgraded suspension equalizer, better tires on it, auto leveling, that kind of makes up for some of this stuff because they took it away from the cosmetic side and they put it to the functional chassis side, which I can really appreciate. Nice stainless steel single basin sink, nice upgraded faucet, Furion compact microwave, three burner cooktop, with oven, again from Furion. Got some storage beneath it. Plus some storage right here. Above it, more storage over here. You have your Furion 12 volt refrigerator and freezer. On this side back here, you have this really cool kind of booth style dinette with some bar chairs, bar stools that give you the ability to really utilize this as a functional workspace or an area to eat. I love that, plus a nice large window behind it. And there's your power there. I do wish they would have put some USB ports here as well. That would have been really nice. It would have also been nice if they extended this so it was a little larger so you could even use this as maybe a functional place to eat if you're watching TV. Over here you have your theater seating with vibrate and heat or massage and heat cup holders, storage in the center. These are reclining as well. You have, this is kind of a sofa size love seat, if that makes sense. It's a little bigger than a normal love seat and it turns into a big bed. So you have these opposing sofas that turn into big opposing beds. So you can sleep a lot of people in here if you want to. What's nice on some units is that they put a wall divider right here. So you can actually turn this into a bedroom space without having to keep it completely open to the kitchen the whole time. They're actually preparing for the show, so that's why you're hearing maybe talking in the background. <coughs> Apologize about that. You have storage right here as well. Over here, you have more cabinets, panoramic fireplace, your Jensen sound system, and a huge TV. 
This TV looks like it's 65, 70 inches. It's, it's absolutely enormous. It's one of the larger TVs that I've seen in a travel trailer, for sure. Got more storage on each side of it. This is definitely for the folks who are looking for a feature rich from a suspension and chassis perspective towable travel trailer that gives you a very fifth wheel type experience. Okay, coming around this way, good spot for a coffee maker. Also a good spot for a coffee maker. Neither of them are great spots for a coffee maker, but this is probably where I'd put it if it were my RV. Your control panel here, along with Bluetooth connectivity, and it lights up when you wave your hand in front of that sensor. Nice size bathroom. This is very reminiscent of a smaller fifth wheel. So they've done a great job in the bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet, nice undermount stainless steel sink. Good size medicine cabinet with some storage underneath it. A lot of room surrounding the sink. I like it when they use these more compact sink basins and RVs because it gives you a lot of space surrounding it. Nice storage there. These are some interesting pulls. They work really well, but they're also very modern looking. Then you have your shower stall here. Very good size, actually. Very plain shower head sprayer and handle set. I think they probably could have gone with something a little bit more premium there. But I do like the shower door here. It slides shut and it goes back into this cassette area when you're not using it. That's very cool. All right. Coming around this way. Nice, this is a, looks like a king size bed possibly. Actually, I bet this is a king size bed and you still have room on each side, which means this is on a wide body chassis. So this is definitely gonna be like an RV king, which is about four inches narrower than your typical residential king size bed, but it is really nice. Wardrobe storage on each side. You have a nice sliding door here to close this area off. This unit has two air conditioning units inside of it. And then back here, you may actually have wash and dryer space. Looks like you might. Uh, yep, you have your prep right there. So this is definitely gonna be for a combo unit, not a stackable unit. This is where you put your TV and your mount on top. What do you guys think? It's pretty dang impressive. Let's check out the outside real quick and we'll wrap the video up. Okay, again, we have our auto leveling system and I'm not sure if it's true auto leveling or if it's stabilization. I think it's just stabilization. From BAL, main reason why is because you have independent control of your levelers right here, or your stabilizers. So this is not gonna be auto leveling, it's gonna be electric stabilization. So it's kind of one of those things that they could have probably put the auto leveling system on because it's very similar. 110 outlet, cable outlet right here as well. You have your Lippert solid step right here, nice wide stepping surface. Again, love the fact that they put an upgraded equalizer in there, that's big thumbs up in my book. Rack and pinion slide out system here. Here's your other control for your other rear stabilization legs. Nice LED lighting. Looks really nice back here actually. It is prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera. You have your four inch tubular bumper here to stow your sewer. Another rack and pinion slide. So it looks so far as if everything on this thing is rack and pinion, which is really nice. Here's your outside vent for your microwave. So whenever you're using the vent, you wanna be sure you lift these tabs up and pop that open. Otherwise, you're just gonna recirculate all that air inside of your RV. 50 amp connection, sewer connection down here, outside of your Fagati tankless water heater. This is gonna be all of your water controls. It's currently locked, but this is where you would control water for your RV. In here, it is solar pre-wired, but this does not have solar on board. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I love the look up front. I love that dark, front cap. I think it looks really nice, especially with that LED accent light up top. Anyways, guys, please leave a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.